I don't have many memories about my life in Haiti because I was very younger and the only thing I can say it was very amazing to live in my home country with my mom, my grandmother, my two see my two sisters and my uncles. I moved to the Dominican Republic in 2010 after the earthquake in my country. And the Dominican Republic is very hard for me at the beginning because I have to learn another language. Spanish is very hard. It was very hard for me. And but I was in the school and learning more about this language. And I have many friends in the Dominican Republic. I think it's my my second my second home. I think I was in school and when I come home and my mom say, we got a visa to go to the United States. I just say, really? When we gonna go? She told me after one month we we going to United States. And I just say, Mom, I don't wanna go. She told me, but why? And I have many friends here. I'm, she told me, but you can make other friends. I say, yes, but it was not easy difficult for me to learn all the language more than Spanish. He told me, you, you're intelligent, you can't do that. But to leave my, my grandmother because she, she was a, another mother for me. When mom not home, she cared about me. And she cried this day when, when I'm going to the airport and saying, don't leave me. Just, I'm just crying too, but we have to do that. It was very cold when I'm coming to the United States. And I say, Mom, what are we doing in this, in this country? It's very cold. And she told me, you know, put some cut and something. And she said, Mom, I don't want to leave here. She told me, but where are we going? Hey, another country, it's too cold here. She told me, now we have to leave there. And maybe after two or three years, we, we can move. I said, all right. And the first time I go to downtown, I see many buildings and I say, wow, it's an amazing country. It's an amazing city. And she told me, yeah, you see, it's a good country. You can learn more about this country. I say, all right, I'll try it. In my life now, I think it's, it's good because I have my own, I have my sister, my mother, and my stepfather was a father for me and they care about me and what I'm doing. Sometimes I, I just go alone in my, in my bedroom and just thinking about my, my grandmother. Sometimes she, she called me and, and asked me how I'm feeling and I said, I, you, I miss you very much, I, I miss you. But we have to live there and try to give up. Yeah, never give up. First of all, I need to finish my, my high school. And my, my, one of my biggest dreams is go to the army, to serve the army, to have a better future, and go get my, my grandmother and came and come here with, with her.